Nice Thursday ahead. Good morning, everyone. We have plenty of sunny sky today and, yes, some mild temperatures once again. Now, we had a cold front pass us by. In its wake, we're seeing some nice high pressure build in, giving us a northerly wind flow. That will keep our humidity in check today, although we're going to start to feel it again Friday on into the weekend as another cold front approaches and pushes through. Now, let's take a look at temperatures across the state today. We're going to be about 80 degrees on average in our neck of the woods. Up the road in Tampa, we're going to see temperatures up about the same and as for other areas of the state northern florida is going to be in the 60s once again today and then as we move further south the temperatures get warmer and warmer 81 in key west 84 fort myers looking again 80 in tampa 69 tallahassee 77 in jacksonville and 82 in vero beach this afternoon now boaters nice day to be on the water once again winds out of the north at 10 knots seas will be two to three feet there is a light chop today your water temperature if you head to the beach is 72 degrees and uva will be a five one tide left today in sarasota that's a low at 8 47 in the morning the next tide is 12 28 tomorrow morning in charlotte a low tide 11 and 12 this morning then a high will be at 3 12 tomorrow morning so both one tide today. Now, as for the tropics, we're at 11 days and counting to the end of the 2009 hurricane season. And once again today, all is quiet in the tropics, not really concerned about anything. And that is good news as we finally wind things down. Now, taking a look at the national picture, strong winds today, especially on the Oregon and Washington coasts. We're going to see some rain there. In the Midwest, this area of low pressure, we've been watching it slowly march towards the Great Lakes. We are still getting some rain from this, but finally should be lifting out of the picture by later today. In the south, the Carolinas are going to get rid of some rain as well, pushing off the coast, so things nice and dry and mostly sunny in most of the south today. In the northeast, well, things are starting to change. We're going to see some sunshine early today, but then rain starts to push in. Let's take a look at the numbers across the nation. 57 today in Washington, 57 in Boston as well. 49 in Denver, 51 in Billings, 76 for Phoenix, and 80 in Brownsville, Texas today, 70 in Dallas. Now, pollen mold counts. We are absent for tree pollen, but we're building in the other categories today. We are low for grass, we're moderate for weed, and we are moderate for mold today. Now, today for us, sunny, nice Florida fall day, high of 80 degrees. We're going to have a nice light wind, although a dry, cool wind, so that is good. Partly cloudy tonight, some patchy fog after 1 a.m. once again, and sunset will be at 537. 61 degrees is our overnight low, so a nice mild night ahead as well. Let's take a look at those next six days because changes are coming. Now, tomorrow we're going to start off with some patchy fog once again, but we are going to be a nice 81 degrees warm. Saturday, we see some showers start to build in. Sunday, a cold front pushes through. By Monday, in the wake of that, our temperatures start to drop. We are in the 70s once again. And Wednesday, chance of rain bumps back in. So Thursday, Thanksgiving, I think we're going to see some sprinkles as well. But all in all, not a washout by any means. That's a look at your forecast. Thanks for logging on to HeraldTribune.com.